Coming up for all you food rangers, we're traveling deep into the southwest mountainous region of Sichuan to a little Tibetan village to taste the food. This here is one of the most beautiful places in the world, and we found some incredible food and scenery you're not going to want to miss. Let's check it out. Alright, so check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We just got into southwest deep Sichuan province. This is a little Tibetan town named Xiangcheng. Today we're going to go for a full on food tour. I can't wait to see what we find. Let's check it out. Coming this deep into the mountains of southwest Sichuan is a true exhilarating rush. We came quickly from Litang, one of the highest towns in the world, after barely being able to breathe from the elevation. And as soon as we arrived, we felt at home in this little village. You feel like a true adventurer coming down these narrow mountain roads. This is absolutely crazy, guys. We are on a precipitous mountain road, a thousand feet below us. We're weaving through and this is just absolutely stunning. We're in southwest Sichuan on our way to Xiangcheng. It's so bumpy and absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to get to Xiangcheng and see what we can find. When you arrive, you're welcomed with the most peaceful scenery and village life you can imagine. You could spend months exploring these little villages for scenery and food, but in our short time, we were lucky enough to spend one day eating three delicious meals. Starting out bright and early, we walked into a little Tibetan shop to see what we could eat for breakfast. Let's see what we can get to start the day. Before we enjoy this local Tibetan breakfast, I want to tell you that after all your requests for Food Ranger merch, we're so excited to finally be offering you an opportunity to get your own Tai Haula t-shirt. We're taking orders for a limited run of 8 days. So if you want to support us and help us make more content, and if you've watched this show for a while, you know that we're all about the Thai Haula. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Go and get your Thai Haula t-shirt now. Check the link in the description below. It's going to help us produce a lot more content. Awesome, we're gonna get a Tibetan breakfast. We walked into a super unique little gem of a shop, offering some super delicious steamed baozi buns you must try, filled with yak butter cream stuffed from heaven. We're getting some local Tibetan breakfast. Suyo baozi. Jigisha suyo cha ma? Oh yeah, we're gonna get some suyo cha. Look at that yak butter. The yak butter. Uh, awesome, we're getting some suyo cha to start today. Yan. Yan. Suyo yan. Oh, yan. Oh, yan. Oh, Good. Oh, and a bit of black tea. Nice. Oh, the suyo cha. We're getting some. Thai Bangla. Suyo cha. This is Suyo cha. Suyo cha. Zangzu de Suyo cha. Ah, Thai Haola. Oh, it's there. Oh, oh, oh. How are you? Wow. Thai Bangla. Chashi de le. Chashi de le. Chashi de le. Chashi de le. Start the day off with some butter tea and bao tzu. Oh, that is really salty, that one. Salty and creamy and fatty. Powerful. What do you want to do? Put your hand on your hand. Soup. 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 Zangzu de Zao Tan Shi Bao Tzu Hai Shema. Chao Mo Mo. Mo Mo. Oh, this is Mo Mo. Ah, this is Mo Mo. Oh, Mo Mo. Is there any share or no? No. There's no share. Oh, no. Bao Tzu is share. Bao Tzu is share. Oh, she's getting the Su Yao Bao Tzu right now. Su Yao Bao Tzu. Oh, wow. Tai Hao Le. We have a Tibetan breakfast. Suyo bao tzu. Limen yo suyo ma. Ah, limen yo suyo. 
Look at these bouts, guys. Let's take a look at this. Oh, oh, it looks like a cream cheese in there. Yak butter. Wow, it looks like a cream cheese. Suyo. This is suyo. Suyo is made. Suyo is made. This is made. Wow! Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. It's sweet and sour. Oh, and the bun is so fluffy. Mm. Wow! Wow, it's great. It's actually a slight bit smoky too. It's like a, it's like a sour, sweet, creamy, slightly smoky. Wow! Bouts are full of delicious goodness. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. And that yak butter tea is so strong. This is very good. After finishing off that powerful butter tea and thanking the owner, we went for a walk to explore this beautiful ancient Tibetan town before lunch and found some amazing scenery on the way. This is honestly one of the most unique towns I've ever been to and the ride here through the mountains was absolutely crazy. As soon as you arrive, you just notice there's a, it's a totally Tibetan feel here. And the people are also friendly, and there's a lot of different food. This really feels like a true adventure coming this deep into southwest Sichuan. This little town, Xiangcheng, is unbelievably unique. Right when you arrive, you just get this excited feeling because you feel like you're on a deep adventure. Mountains in the back, temples in the back, monasteries, crops growing. It really feels like a dream world coming here. After exploring around town and looking for a Tibetan lunch, we found that most of the shops were Sichuan foods full of local Tibetans. So we decided to go for some dumplings and then later on go have a Tibetan feast for dinner. So we're walking downtown, Xiangcheng, here. There's lots of Tibetan and Sichuan shops. Really beautiful city, and we're on the hunt for lunch. I think I'm actually feeling like some dumplings. Oh, dumplings, Sichuan dumplings. Look at this, guys. This looks absolutely mouth watering delicious. We got Jian Jiao and Shui Jiao. Local pan fried dumplings stuffed with pork and green onions. Homemade chili sauce. Wow, with sesame. And then boiled dumplings. And honestly, Boiled dumplings to me are just like heaven. It also comes with a, a pot here of mian tang or shui jiao tang. This is actually just the water that's used to boil the dumplings and you can drink that to warm you up because it's quite chilly outside. Let's dip that in. Oh, dip that right in that thick chili sauce. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Mm. Mmm! The pork filling is so juicy. The green onions gave it a freshness. And it's all about that chili dip. Oh yeah. It really is all about that chili sauce. Salty, fragrant, you can taste that nuttiness from that sesame. Wow! After those beautiful dumplings, we made our way around town for another walk through the beautiful scenery and made our way in the evening for an amazing Tibetan feast. Chashi dele. Chashi dele. Wow, look at this beautiful restaurant. We've got the Tibetan menu here. Awesome. Let's see what we can find. Oh, yeah, frozen yak meat. We're definitely going to have to get some of that. Oh, raw yak meat. There's so much here. Tibetan barbecue. We are definitely going to have to get that. Tibetan pork chop. We're definitely gonna have to get some of that. Life fruit. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Blood sausage. We're gonna get some of that too. And not, lots of nice soups here, but we probably won't get a soup. Buckwheat with honey. Oh, we're gonna have to get some of that too. Look at this prayer wheel here. I just spoke with her and she said, 
You use this when you pray. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? We're just waiting for our dinner and I'm mesmerized by all the beautiful stuff here. Look at this huge Tibetan feast for dinner here, guys. Look at this frozen yak meat. Wow, sliced frozen yak meat. They serve it with a soy sauce. That looks so nice with a bit of wasabi in there. Beautiful. We also ordered some mashed potatoes with gravy and Sichuan fresh Xiaomila chili peppers. Wow, Tibetan mashed potatoes. Nice. We also got some fatty, fatty fried crispy pork. Look at that crispy layer on the outside. Oh, the skin is just crispy and succulent looking. We also got some spare ribs here. These are fried spare ribs, pork spare ribs. And then look at this, intestine stuffed with blood and rice. This is blood sausage with some dried chili dip. And then look at this, this is super unique. Buckwheat bread. It's like buckwheat bread with honey. I think I'm gonna start with a bit of this frozen yak meat. Dip it into that soy sauce with wasabi. Beautiful. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's like soft and tender, but the ice crystals give it a bit of a crunch. Oh, and it's very flavorful, especially with that wasabi. There's an instant wasabi hit in there. This was another beautiful Tibetan feast. The last one before you reach the border of Yunnan and find more Yunnanese street food specialties. All of the dishes were super delicious, with the buckwheat bread being bitter and sweet from the honey. And the mashed potatoes had an amazing Sichuan chili punch. And the blood sausage was even delicious, tasting almost exactly like a regular sausage with no blood odor. This is the last stop where it has a Tibetan majority. Now we're moving south. I would love to know what you thought about this food and travel video in the comments below. And please click that thumbs up button and the little subscribe and bell notification button so you can get all the notifications for these deep street food tours. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been an amazing journey so far on the Tea Course Road.